on. In our previous lecture, we have completed chapter number 8, Cards and Wheels, part 1. Today we are going to start part 2. So let's begin. So I hope students, you all must have gone through my previous lecture, chapter number 8, part 1. There we discuss about what is a circle and parts of a circle like center, radius, chord, diameter, are circle frames. So now let us revise what is a circle. A circle is a plane figure in which all the points are at the same distance from the center. What is a circle? A circle is a plane figure in which all the points are at the same distance from the center. So here are the examples of a circle. So you can see a circle is a plane figure and it has no corners. It is in round shape. But a circle with a definite radius can be drawn with the help of compass contained in your geometry box. So now let us learn how to draw a circle with the help of compass. So as we are learning today how to draw a circle with the help of compass. So students firstly you all should know how does compass looks like. So this is a compass and a compass is present in your geometry box. So students a compass has two arms. How many arms a compass has? Two arms. So this arm is known as metal arm. It is known as metal arm. And it is the center of the circle. Here you can see this is the center of the circle. And the second is pencil arm. And it is connected by a hinge. Or you can say head or handle. Clear? Now what I will do. You have to open this. Take a pencil and place inside this. If it is not going, just loose this screw and make it fix inside. Now, you have to check whether needle and pencil are in equal length. Now, fix it tight. You have to fix it tight. Now, just check whether they are equal. Yes. Students, both metal arm and pencil arm, this length should be equal. Clear? And as you all are new for making the circle with the help of compass, hold the compass from this handle. Do not touch these two arms. If you will touch these two arms, it will slowly, slowly, slowly close. So try to draw a circle with the help of this handle. Clear students? So students, now I teach you how to draw a circle. So let us see what all things we need. So what all we need? A sheet of paper, scale, sharp pencil and a compass. Now let us draw a circle of radius 7 cm. So students take a scale and draw points from 0 to 7 cm. In chapter number 2 I told you how to draw a line segment. So here we have drawn a line segment of 7 cm. But I have not drawn line. I am measuring 7 cm now with the help of compass. So here I measured 7 cm. Now remove the scale. Now from needle as it is a center, I am drawing a circle. First I have drawn upwards. Now if you are not able to move downwards, you can take the help of your other hand. Now again I am drawing. I am taking my other hand help. Just want to show you students, I have used my two hands because you are beginner. It is new for you. So now take a scale and from center draw a line and mark a point there. Here write O. And here write R. So now write here 7 cm. So students, here O, R is the radius. Draw a circle of radius 5 cm. So now take a scale and measure 5 cm 
using ruler from 0 till 5 cm as we have done in question number 1. Now we will use compass and we will open the same length. We keep the point end at the center and draw a circle with the help of pencil and compass. So now let us draw a circle. Students hold compass properly at sometimes compass position changes. So always keep needle at center. And now we have drawn a circle of radius 5 cm. So this is the center point O. So now take a scale from O as center. Draw a line and measure it. It is 5 cm. So right here R. So OR is equal to 5 cm. So students this circle is of radius 5 cm. Question number 3. Draw a circle of radius 4.5 cm. So students take a scale and mark points from 0 to 4.5 cm. 4.5 is 4 cm. After that 5 steps forward. Now take a compass and measure the points from 0 to 4.5 cm. So here we have measured the length. It is of radius 4.5 cm and draw a circle from center. So my needle is at center and students now your hands must be set. Easily we are able to draw a circle. Now take a scale and write here center point O. And measure the length from O till circle. It is 4.5 cm radius. And write here P. And it is 4.5 cm. So students OP is equal to 4.5 cm. Question number 4. Draw a circle of diameter 12 cm. So diameter is equal to 12 cm. Radius is equal to diameter upon 2. So 12 cm upon 2. So let us divide it is 6 cm. So radius is equal to 6 cm as diameter is just double. Now take a scale and mark points from 0 to 6 cm. So we have marked the points. Now take a compass. And measure the length from 0 to 6 cm. Students hold your compass properly. It should not move here and there. Now from center draw a circle of radius 6 cm. So here we are drawing a circle of radius 6 cm. Students sometimes it happens that your hand moves here and there. It's okay don't worry. But your two arms should not meet. Now take a scale from center draw a line till circle right here O and right here R. So OR is the radius of 6 cm. Now join from O to left side as we know diameter is double so it is also 6 cm and right here P. So POR is the required diameter that is 12 cm. PR is the diameter that is 12 cm. Question 5. Say true or false. A part a circle has vertex. False. A circle has no vertex. B part diameter is longest chord of circle. True. Radius of a circle is half of its diameter. True. Circumference is the distance around the circle. True. Students, that's all for today's class. I hope you all have understood the Lehman's class. So, chapter number 8, part 2 completed. Practice these questions at home. Try to draw circles with the help of compass. Now, we'll continue in our next class. Take care. Bye-bye.